cracking work by I think it may well have been Robbie Storey out there the former Doncaster and Carcassonne player Chris Clarkson the skipper keeps the ball alive to Conor Fitzsimmons right in front of the sticks and once more Keatley players there to plug the gap Jesse D tries to keep players off and scores and suddenly Keatley's defence seemed to go to sleep presuming his days at Hewitt as a junior he got uh, quite a bit of goal kicking in and he makes no mistake with that one so one out of one for today up front for the Cougars and Joe Hurd's gone out there the uh, young former Rhinos player spent a bit of time at Hunslet here's Brendan Santi with the first carry for the Knights they're trying to set the position to add to this 6-0 lead they've got 20 minutes in right side of the attack Harris to Jesse D going for the line again too much strength too much strength just drove through the key play defence and Joe Hurd was one of those who couldn't grab hold of him Tom Doyle was the other and that was all too easy for the Aussie just uh, giving the ball the old hard stare at the moment you are going through those posts little ball there he is, has he convinced it so? He has indeed. Well done, Miles Harrison. And the Knights lead 12 points to nil. So, handy start for the Knights. At the moment, the defence is holding up just to the left of the post. Tom Doyle eyes the left side, goes to the right side. Goes to Walker, Walker to PLT, joins the line up base. Keithley are going to score this time, Alex Stevenson. And the Keithley Cougars fans celebrate. But uh, right footed kicker, 15 in from the touchline. Uh, he's given it uh, a fair old welly, and it's gone through the post. Back into the heaviest of the flak there, brought down 10 metres out. They go right side, Harris again, Harris deep ball to Brown, chance here, Jesse D looking for the hat-trick, that's got that one down, absolutely, Jesse D again, the Aussies got a first half hat-trick for the Knights. Yep, uh, Newcastle late white even nil as Miles Harrison looks for the conversion, I think that's a cracker, it is an absolute cracker from the young man. Straight through the post. Trailing 18 points to six at the moment with Aaron Levy with the carry forward. Runs into a combination of Akuma, Ty, Bailey, Antrobus, and the Knights are penalised. And uh, I think it is something in the tackle by Akuma, Ty that uh, the referee took exception to, but I can't tell you exactly what. But the upshot is uh, the Knights can go three scores clear. So Harrison, right-footed kicker, right in front of the sticks, gives the ball plenty of uh, oomph, and it's through the post. The Knights increase their lead immediately. Now 20 points to six. They broke down the middle, and suddenly Josh Daly was limping and couldn't get to the Keithley player that broke down the middle. Here come Keithley again. They've switched it over to the other side. Robbie Storey, Alex Stevenson, he's got that down. He's got it down. Touch judges happy. Takes the ball forward, 28 0 to uh, Featherstone against Swinton. Very much uh, an outcome we expected, it must be said. Uh, oh, Ollifield, big gap, big gap, good pace, gone round, Toga guy. Ollifield, cracking work by the Knights. And once more, simply the uh, gates opened, and that change of pace from Ollifield gets him in, which he duly does. So, handy lead for the York Knights now here. High steepling kick. Referee Nick Bennett waved his arms about in several general directions. And uh, a penalty to the Knights ensue. So, right on the Keithley line. Oh, lovely ball. Wonderful ball to Conor Fitzsimmons. What a bit of work that was. Everybody went the other way, including me. My eyes went the other way, but Josh Daly's pass to Conor Fitzsimmons on the angled run the other way. Fabulous bit of work. Josh Daly comes off, handy round of applause for the little Aussie. Been such a good signing. He eases himself back to his feet. There ain't no hurry there. And nine minutes left on the clock, and that's with a big lead. Liam Harris back to Jesse D. 
Jesse D to Ollie Field, ball on to Clarkson, Clarkson cuts back inside, looking for options, goes for the gap, gets the offload, Joe Brown finally gets his try, Joe Brown goes through the gap, put in there by Chris Clarkson. Trying to keep this 100% record intact today, six out of six, just to the left of the post. The post, seven out of seven. I don't have a summariser here to be able to uh, ask, so I'll decide myself, but I think... Uh... Oh, now it's coming forward! Joe Brown's going to go in again under the post. Great handling. Now it's kept the ball alive. Cunningham and Harris putting the ball through hands, and uh, Keith Lee, just no answer really in defence. They've got uh, a little bit all over the place now defensively today that would change my mind on that. 44-10 to the York now. Deep ball into Jesse D. Oh, walk in for AJ Towns. What a clever pass from the man of the match, Jesse D. Now will the young man fare? Good connection. Beauty, absolute beauty. Turns to the Knights fans and celebrates. <laughs> I'll say it again, I've said it once already, but I'm enjoying saying it. Kicking problem, what kicking problem?